Hi, my name is Renoir Ugis and I'm from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and this video will highlight the threats to the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog as well as implication towards its conservation. The layout of this video will include background on the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog and rationale for its protection, current and potential threats, and what can be done about these threats. The new tropics, which include South America, Central America and the Caribbean, have the highest diversity of amphibian species on Earth. Yet, it also has the highest number of amphibians at threat to extinction. One such species, which is considered critically endangered, is found on the island of Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago has roughly 36 documented species of amphibians, and one of these is currently considered critically endangered, the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. The Trinidad Golden Tree Frog is a small to medium sized frog. It has a brown dorsum or back with two iridescent golden stripes along the length of the body from the eyes to the posterior end. This along with its golden iris will distinguish it from other frog species on Trinidad. The Trinidad Golden Tree Frog may be found at the summit of two of Trinidad's mountains. Il Tacuch and Il Cerro de la Ribo. Both mountains are located in the northern range of the island. Il Tacuch is roughly 934 meters above sea level, whereas Il Cerro de la Ribo is roughly 940 meters above sea level. The habitat of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog consists of mountain rainforests and elfin woodland. The microhabitat of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog is an epiphytic bromeliad. On Trinidad, this bromeliad is only found at elevations above 800 meters above sea level. Here, within the bromeliad, the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog live the majority of their known life cycle. The potential function the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog plays in the ecosystem is not well understood due to a lack of data on its natural history. Though, because of its charismatic appearance, it may potentially be used as a flagship species to promote conservation of other frogs in the country. Why should we care about the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog? Firstly, they may play an important role in the ecosystem acting as predator and prey. They may have potential medicinal values, for example, in other frogs, and they may contribute to the economy, for example, through ecotourism. The following are some of the perceived actual and potential threats to the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. Each of these will be discussed hereafter. This figure shows projected impacts of changing temperature on amphibians and reptiles of Southeast Asia. These two are potential causes of concern for the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. Climate change has both direct and indirect effects on amphibians and potentially for the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. The bromeliads are temperature sensitive, thus increases in temperature brought about by climate change may restrict their distribution and by extension the distribution of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frogs. Also, climate change may also facilitate the spread of the chytrid fungus. Prior to the proliferation of the National Wildlife Policy in 2013, there was limited protection to amphibians in Trinidad outside of protected areas. For example, the Conservation of Wildlife Act 1980 offered no protection to amphibians. Furthermore, prior to the Environmental Sensitive Species Rule stipulation for the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog, there was a lack of specific protection for the species. There is no current data 
on aspects of the Triangle and Tree Frogs demographics, nor its natural history. In addition, historical data is limited. This makes it difficult to conclusively determine effective methods towards abating extinction of the species. For example, information on the diet of frogs is essential for developing conservation strategies. Lack of awareness is another potential threat to the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog and amphibians on a whole in Trinidad and Tobago. For example, so, do you know about the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog? Yes, I do. What do you know about it? Not very much. So, what do you think about frogs? Frogs? Mm, no, I don't like them. No. Alright, so, what do you think about frogs on the whole? I mean, I don't like frogs, but I still at the same time know that they are actually uh, valuable to the ecosystem. Okay, um, cool. The Trinidad Golden Tree Frog is only known to occur at two locations on Trinidad, with an estimated range of 10 square kilometers or less. Localized populations threaten the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog by contributing to low genetic variability. Low genetic variability contributes to an increase in occurrences of deleterious or harmful genes, and this may have implications towards the preservation of endangered species. Habitat loss due to degradation and alteration is considered the main threat to amphibians worldwide. Habitat loss may be caused by natural and or human activities. For example, hikers and other persons visiting the mountains where the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog habitat may contribute to habitat alteration. By altering the habitat and by extension the microhabitat of Trinidad Golden Tree Frogs, the species may be affected negatively, such as contributing to other threats, for example, small localized populations. The epiphytic bromelad is the sole known microhabitat of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. A reduction in these bromeliads on Trinidad, as a consequence to habitat degradation, may thus correlate to a decrease in Trinidad Golden Tree Frogs. In addition, Anecdotal reports suggest that bromeliads have been collected by persons hiking to both mountain peaks. Furthermore, it was previously stated that in order to study the Trinagola tree frogs, bromeliads had to be sacrificed. Diseases such as amphibian chytridomycosis is a fungal skin infection affecting amphibians worldwide. It is caused by the aquatic fungus BD. BD is known from four continents and is also found on Trinidad and Tobago. This disease represents a serious conservation concern for amphibians in the Caribbean, with suitable climatic conditions currently provided. In addition, high-altitude frogs are particularly susceptible to the disease. The Trinidad Golden Tree Frog is one such high-altitude species though there have yet to be any confirmed cases of chytrid fungus for the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. The following are some recommendations to mitigate these threats to the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. Conducting research is imperative to the conservation of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. The more we know about it, the better we can help manage it. Review and assess any gaps in protection of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog, particularly regarding enforcement of protection to its habitat and microhabitat. Ensure hygienic methods are involved for any persons handling the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. This is particularly important with respect to the chytrid fungus disease. External conservation methods such as ex situ conservation and translocation should also be considered. This may also aid in research of the species. Multiple avenues for reaching the public and international audience should be devised to help encourage awareness and funding for the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. Finally, but not exclusively, 
Education is important for the conservation of the Trinidad Golden Tree Frog. One example may be to incorporate natural history in the curriculum for all school levels, starting at primary level. Will help highlight the threats to the Golden Tree Frog towards its conservation and the conservation of other frogs in general in Trinidad today.